Alright, what's up my Sony ponies and Xbox? How we all doing my brothers? Cause it, it's another day, right? Like everybody's hella mad. Everybody's like looking like this. That's my brand Bruh. man from Starfield. Everybody say hola cabestas. That's uh, my homie Phil Spender gaming for everyone because today we're gonna be talking about gaming for everyone ladies and gentlemen There is trouble in paradise. There are a lot of people mad like this video subscribe if you're brand new man I'm down for another drama kick boys. Off a new game called quantum era yeah. and from the official account it states We will have a couple of gameplay videos lined up to show off as soon as we can announce everything okay. We have started looking into optimizing the game for Xbox, but it is definitely going to take a bit of time unfortunately Quantum Era has been made to be played with the PS5's extremely fast SSD. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this, this cannot be the real gameplay, bro. That, that, dude, that's not real, bro. <laughs> so, remember when I told you guys that there was a game that I got early access to that I would yeah. not be reviewing because I didn't want to publish a review that was just nothing but negative? That was the game that I was talking about. You're a phony! <laughs> Hey, this guy Man. is a great big phony! Hey, yo. I hate this game. I feel like it's been so long since I said I hate a game, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot down. I Wrong! You recently said that game sucked on Xbox, bro! That game sucked! Major Johnson, Major c You know what I'm saying? I hate this game. Maybe some person out there will have a good experience with it. Yeah, maybe, maybe someone. Maybe some person out there <laughs> will have a good experience with maybe it. Maybe someone. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Dude, in this day and age, bro, I don't know whether to laugh or cry here. Obviously, it's Mimi. We're gonna joke about it. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. But this is genuinely sad, though. In this day and age, these suckers, these twats, these devs would say, The game has gone gold, mate! The game has gone gold, and it comes out, and it's like this, bro. I swear to God, and you're not gonna believe this emergency meeting real quick. I gotta show you this video as well, boys, but check this out, okay? This is gonna make you lose brain cells, and I'm sorry. I gotta apologize in advance, guys. I'm sorry on behalf of this twat out here, this second out here, okay? But check this out. Let's lose hope in our humanity, okay? In all the humanity, not in our humanity. What, am I, what, what is English right now? Bruh. Bruh. When IGN gives... Quantum Error of 5, but gives Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 a 4. First world problems, right? You know, either two things. Number one, media bias, Xbox tax. Media bias, Xbox tax, or number two, something really wrong with the process. Bruh, I gotta drop like, damn, bro. It ain't even about that, bro. Call of Duty sucks, Modern Warfare 3 sucks. Not because of PlayStation, not because of Xbox. At least use your goddamn brain for a second, my guy. Xbox recently acquired Activision. It has been like a month. Uh, not even a month. Obviously, they have been fighting for over a year, but they officially acquired in October. Around like the 12th or 14th of October. So, Modern Warfare 3 being trash doesn't mean that it was Xbox's fault. Nobody is saying that. Yeah, a couple of Sony ponies are saying that, but y'all Xbox are absolutely delusional. Y'all making mountains out of molehill. It's the dev's fault. It is Activision's fault. Smash the like button if you agree. Next year and in two years from now, if Call of Duty sucks, then, then yeah, you can blame Xbox. If it's positive, then you can give them credit. Simple as that. I guess in this day and age, bro, like gamers' brain has fried completely because of seeing trash games after trash games. Maybe it's like it's drinking Bud Light. Maybe it's the fluoride in the water. I'm not sure what's happening. I don't know what they're mixing in your guys' waters. Spoiler alert. It's fluoride. Yes, it's very bad. And I, I, I felt... I felt bad. Um, I felt bad if I was going to do a review of it. Damn. I did not want to publish... You are a reviewer! You gotta be honest about your reviews. If a game sucks, say the game sucks. If the game is I, just say it's I or made or a banger if it's a banger, bro. The review where I was just like, yeah, I, I couldn't, I literally couldn't come up with anything good to say. I tried. I tried. Oh my God. I tried. And this is why you did not make a review. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, fair. I mean, yeah, let's clap up for you. That's like 500 IQ because... If it happened to be that he put out a review and that was negative, he wouldn't be getting like early access. Damn, wow. no real reviews in this day and age. Scam. I exposed it all, and I will be the one to clean it up. 
Uh-huh. Make America great again. Thank you. Yeah. Make him great again, bro. It honest to God feels like a lot of mid is masquerading as masterpieces. Yes, yes, not everything released this year was broken and unplayable. Congratulations, video game industry. Yeah. But that's not Shout to stop you. the fact that uh, a lot of it was broken and unplayable. But what really blows my mind is the staggering amount of broken. In this day and age, one game comes out that is not broken at launch out of 100 games, and Sigas are saying, Gaming is safe! Gaming is safe! It's the best year ever! Woohoo! 2023 is the best year for gaming. I mean, damn, bro, I know there has been some good games, but, bruh, gaming industry feels like that. There are 100 games that comes out, 90% of them are gonna be trash, 5 of them are gonna be mid, Three of them are gonna be odd, and two of them are gonna be masterpieces. That's how it feels like. Smash the like button if that's how it feels Looking like. Games YouTube. that were exclusive to PlayStation this year. Something I never expected. Everybody keeps pointing to Redfall, but on the PlayStation side, we had Ron Redfield, Last of Us PC port, Forspoken, <laughs> Spider Man 2, and now. Okay, yo, bro, stop the game, bro. Stop the cap. Spider Man 2, I gotta agree, though. Like, I did not buy, I did not play, but I did watch the entire walkthrough on YouTube, and this story was decent. Outside of the, the woke crap that they, the, the woke bull squash they added in the game, the game was pretty odd, though. Like, let me, let me just keep a bug 50, though. Yeah, I've only seen, like, a couple of videos of the bugs, but. But damn, it wasn't as bad as, like, Redfield. Like, come on now, man. You cannot put Spider-Man 2 with Redfield, dog. Like, come on, man. Like, that ain't even a Sony pony talking. That ain't even an Xbox talking. That's... Just use your brain for it, Maybe you need more cocoa, brother. Maybe you need... I will provide you some Nesquik. Like, the... I will provide you some good kush from uh, the backyard. I grew an Esquik in the backyard, brother. I got Legendary you, game, the one everybody's been waiting for, the most hyped game of the generation, Quantum Error. <laughs> oh, sorry, I mean, how do you say it again, Puddle Rock? Quantum Error. The amount of errors this Quantum Error game has is just fascinating. Oh, it always feels good to do a follow-up video where I tell everybody I was right. I did it for Forspoken. Back when that shit was first revealed, I said, that looks like trash. Then we got a look at the exclusive PS5 game, Quantum Era. I started to message the developers and ask how it was so broken. I sent them a list of glitches and they no were way. just like, damn bro, that sucks. How are you releasing a game like this if you know Bro. it is this unfinished? A game that the developers oh themselves said numerous times on Twitter they couldn't get to run on an Xbox. A fast SSD makes a massive difference. Boom, Boom <laughs> PS5 will definitely be the way to experience quantum error, bro. Like, it's like PlayStation error this time, bro. PlayStation 5 quantum error. <laughs> Yo, this thing is crazy, man. In this day and age, bro, if these twats say the game has gone gold, don't believe it, brothers. Don't believe it, man. We gotta hear the game has gone platinum. That's when we're gonna believe it, though, okay? Because the SSD was too slow. And then what happened? I took one look at this game, and I wondered, how is it not even running on an Xbox 360? The whole selling point to this game was apparently the way it used the PS5 SSD. The same old bullshit marketing Man. that's been used since the reveal of the PS5. And you There's no way graphics are looking this bad, bro. Holy, though. I figure after Ratchet and Clank rift apart, the ponies would learn their lesson. But no, they all bought into the marketing hype. Each and every single one of them would brag about this game. And those responsible for the capping include... Let's go! I often get asked many times on this channel, Frit, why are you such a bully to dream? Gaming is done, guys. Conclusion, gaming is done. It's Joe over. This is how it be, my brothers. This is exactly how it be. Modern Warfare 3 campaign. I, <laughs> I just give it a 4 out of 10. Underbake, rehash, and cobble together. The, the reason I'm talking about Modern Warfare 3 is because most of my channel content is Call of Duty and GTA. That's the majority of my content, and then I sprinkle in some PlayStation and Xbox news, right? The memes and the, the, the Xbox fanboys, the PlayStation fanboys, we have that content. We have that salt, but, but damn, bro, like, nothing is good anymore. I genuinely feel like that GTA 6, GTA 6 is our last show right now. If GTA, if that game sucks, bruh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna become a monk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna settle myself on a mountain in Tibet on October 
32nd of that year, okay? Bruh. Smash the like button if you want me to become a monk right now, and you're gonna bec become a monk too. Maybe not you. Maybe you still have a little bit of hope. Maybe you're gonna be. Maybe you're gonna. Maybe you're young to the point where you know you can see GTA 7 in your lifetime. But certainly not me. Certainly not a lot of you. A lot of you are not gonna be able to play GTA 7 in your in your life, bruh. Because that. Why good luck do you, if you continue get... to pub? I mean, we're gonna be lucky if you get GTA 6. Publicly humiliate this man and push it further each video. Why are you like this? Well, here's why. Do I need to give you any more examples? Dreamcast guy is always wrong. All the time. Dreamcast guy is always placing his bets on the wrong thing. The minute Dreamcast guy heard this game couldn't run on an Xbox. I, I really hope Dreamcast guy doesn't say GTA 6 is, is gonna be amazing because if he says that, it's gonna be bad, guys. Series X because of the SSD <laughs> or some bullshit is the exact moment he started capping for this game. Because, again, another reason I'm so hard on Dreamcast guys because, well, he is a PlayStation fanboy. Why else would anybody <laughs> cap for this game? It looks like the most uninteresting asset flip of the year. And I played Redfall, so that says a lot. It's not Damn. solely Dreamcast. Is it really as bad as Redfall or worse than Redfall? Man, I want you suckers to let me know in the comments below. But boys, click on this video on the screen. Modern Warfare 3, everybody's going off. This is one of the biggest drama of this year right now. The year is about to be over, but guys, check it out. And I'll see you right there, okay? I'll see you.